Have you ever realized that you are able to carry out repetitive daily tasks effortlessly without thinking about them? How often have you had the experience of driving while your attention was focused on something else, like planning a party or thinking through your plans for your upcoming vacation? While driving, you don't remember how many times you slowed down or sped up, or how many turns you had to take. The drive itself was a blur, but somehow, you got to where you were going and you did so safely. That was your brain working on autopilot mode. When you hear the term autopilot, you may immediately think about futuristic vehicles, or even some of the fancier cars we have today. But the human brain is amazing. When your brain isn't focused on a task, it switches to a default mode. You wash your hair and press your clothes almost instinctively because you've done it so many times before. Your brain doesn't need to focus on it. So, whenever it can, your brain will kick into this automatic decision-making gear to save energy, freeing up your conscious mind to work on other mentally taxing things. Your ability to think about what's not happening at any given moment is a cognitive achievement that makes life easier. Interestingly, we are on this autopilot mode nearly half of the time, roughly 46.9% to be exact, leaving our minds free to wander. Our autopilot mode seems to run by a set of brain structures called the Default Mode Network, or DMN, which is a constellation of different areas in your brain that work together, allowing our bodies to run on autopilot. While the idea of going on autopilot has been known by scientists for years, researchers have found that it might be possible to train this portion of your brain to work harder and more effectively. For the study, Researchers recruited 28 volunteers who learned to play a new card game. They didn't know the rules, so they had to focus on how the game worked, matching colors and shapes. The researchers then used a brain scanner to find out which portions of the brain were active. The section of the brain that is well known to control cognitive learning lit up initially. Once the participants learned the game and went into autopilot mode, a different region lit up. Upon switching over to the DMN, the volunteers' responses within the game also became faster and more accurate despite the fact that they had less conscious engagement with the game. In other words, it's more efficient for our brains to switch to an autopilot mode distinct from conscious thinking once a rote task has been sufficiently learned. Interestingly enough, this mode can be fine-tuned and trained to be more powerful. Researchers found that people with DMN structures that are more strongly connected and coordinated also performed better in the card game. So, it might be possible to train yourself to have a better autopilot mode, allowing you to perform better on tasks without directly focusing on them. Other studies have shown that neurofeedback training, which involves people attempting to control their brain activity when shown real-time scans of their brains, could allow people to consciously improve brain function even in areas that are typically out of conscious control. This kind of training could improve the instincts of musicians, help athletes get in the groove, or just assist the rest of us in more efficient multitasking.